All right, let's get you into a close-up of what we're doing here. So this tool right here is called a draw knife. And it's got two handles, one on either side. You grab those, set it on the, the log. We're gonna use it for a lot of things. What we're using it for right now is to strip bark and this stuff underneath called Cambria off of this log. So you're gonna set it on your log, angle it just a little bit, you draw it back towards you and you see the the bark just peels right off the purpose of this is to remove all the bark because these are actually logs that i cut last autumn and they're still wet with sap i should have done this then i didn't have time i'm forcing myself to make time now so uh there is one that i had already cut and it's set up here on the stand all winter it's very dry All right, day one, I'm back from lunch. I actually got back a little bit late because I was talking to my wife. Shh, don't tell the boss. <laughs> oh, so I was thinking about some problems I was having with the earlier log today, and obviously I'm not on level ground, and that was giving me all kinds of fits where this was, it was turning, it was sliding. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this pallet wood here I'm gonna screw that in, and then I think that'll help us out here a little bit. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There we go. Oh yeah, the other thing brought my hatchet. Really the tool I needed earlier for dealing with these knots. Dry her out. So much better.
Cool. Tell that just dinged my hatchet right there. That was dumb. You'll sharpen this afterwards. All right, folks, let me just uh, show you what I'm dealing with here. Um, this tree is mostly dead. If we come up, here we go. There's this one branch is alive. Can you see that right there? This, this is all dead. So I'm going to be putting my shelter, my, uh, my tool tent right there. I don't want that to fall and smash the whole thing in. So my solution is going to have to be to take the whole tree. didn't quite go where I thought it was going to. That's all right. Um, I wasn't really sure. I, I thought it could go that way. I thought it could come this way. It was uh, 
kind of not being too experienced. I wasn't wasn't going to call it 100% either way, and I'm glad I didn't. I might have called it wrong. Um, so what I tried to do is uh, get it to fall off to one side, uh, thinking it kind of looked almost balanced. Looking at it now, obviously that was not correct. My suspicion is the more of these I'll do, the better I'm going to get at, at guesstimating that kind of stuff. The good news is, I wasn't sure if there's going to be any kind of usable wood in here, and there is, and rather than haul, um, for example, this piece, I hauled that from the road, which is, I don't know, 100 yards to the left of the camera right now, hauled that thing in from there it, because they, the road crew had taken down a, a pine that was fairly large and uh, half rotten. But I think instead, instead of using those for my, my pillars, I'm just going to cut those pillars out of right here. No reason not to, not as far as I can see. Alright, back to work. <laughs> 